Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, this is a rant channel. All persons in this video are real and the events are factual. Satirical speech may be used to comment and criticize on subjects. Okay, okay, once again, Happy New Year. If I missed you, welcome back. And this is Al's Backwards News. Story is backwards. I'm going to bring it to you. Okay, let's take a look at the picture. Take a look at it first. <laughs> oh, hell no. Who frosted his tips? Tell me what's going on with this hairstyle. Because I'm not from Africa, and I know he's not from Africa either. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what magazine he saw that in. This guy looks innocent. This guy is foolish and crazy. This is Daqueen Watkins. His ass on January the 6th went bonkers. He went bonkers. He's locked up, getting ready, get, getting ready to go to trial. They waiting on him to go to trial. He got to do some hearings. He was sitting up with his boyfriend of 10 years. I love you, man. I love you too, man. They playing video games. Something happened on the video game. Somebody called him on the phone. Somebody said th something. Somebody said something. The queen went bonkers. He grabbed his lover, his boyfriend, Rory Teasley. 28 years old and strangled him to death you got to be kidding me this is how I know he went bonkers <laughs> he, he Watkins called the police when he was when he went bonkers and told the police I need an ambulance my boyfriend took a nap and he won't wake up. And the 911 said, what is you talking about? Stop playing on the phone. He said, we was fighting. And then he went to sleep. And uh, he, he not doing too good. That motherfucker said, oh, hell no. Okay, but police be right over there. They got the police ambulance over there. Mr. Teasley went to the hospital. They say he dead. We can't even bring him back. Do you know how much strength it takes to strangle a grown ass man? It takes a lot because I tried to strangle somebody before. It takes a lot. They usually punch you in the face and say, get the hell off of me. So I don't know how he did it. He must, he must have monkey strength. I don't know what's going crazy. Crazy man strength. I don't know. This is this, a hey, this is terrible. This is terrible. I don't know how long he got to go to jail for this. I don't know if he cray cray. Because I well, I know he went bonkers. I know he went bonkers. And I am mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Now we already black people already got. Races of people that hate you. You got your own black people that hate you. You got people that hate people that's LGT, QRS. Then you got people that hate you because you got a job or anything like that. And we got a group of people that are professional killers. That their hobby is to kill gay people. That's their hobby. And this fool take 
his boyfriend of 10 years and strangle him to death. Did, I, to, I told you, I'd have tried to strangle somebody before. They don't die real quick. It, it takes some time to kill them. They be, hey, get that fuck off of me. <laughs> Fighting and kicking and shit. It's cussing you out. It takes some time to kill them. They don't die right away. So I don't know if they're going to say this is a crime of passion. Because they're going to say it took some time. They, they're going to say you did a George Floyd. You did a George Floyd, man. This took like a minute to kill this guy. You you a uh, uh you a super killer. We're gonna put you in there with Chauvin. This is gonna be a mess. Now we we we're gonna go extra deep. Is this domestic abuse? Is could this been avoided? Somebody comment and tell me what's going on. Could this been avoided? Do you want him to do a thousand years in jail? Is it a crime of passion? Should we let him go? Tell me what you think. They keep saying the fight started over a video game. And the only game he can play now is pick up the soap. My, my, my. And I'll see you on the next edition of Backwards News.